Most definitely, you're watching Entertainment Thursday here on Good Morning Kenya. My name is Mark Miguel, and you're in just in time for our first conversation. We are talking about leadership personal development and communication skills and to help me in this conversation in studio I'm um, joined by uh, Emily Owiti who is a communication policy advocacy knowledge and also a lecturer at the University of Nairobi Karibu sana thank you and also in studio is Dr Kenny Ke Kevin Rubia who is a medical doctor Karibu sana thank you very much yes now when you talk about leadership communication and personal development let me start with you. What does that mean uh, to you? Leadership, communication, and personal development are all interconnected. Mm -hmm. For you to be a good leader, communication skills are very essential. Mm -hmm. And in Toastmasters, we learn how to communicate. And in the process, you develop specific skills that you use in your leadership journey. So as a Toastmaster, we have in Toastmasters 11 paths and we're calling this the pathway program. In the pathway program, for instance, there's a path I have just finished called dynamic leadership. In dynamic leadership, I pick specific skills of working with a team, I develop my presentation skills, and I'm also able to coach and understand a team that I'm working with. So you cannot be a good leader if you're not able to speak, if you cannot demonstrate, because people look at what you do, uh -huh. not what you see. So are you able to exemplify leadership are you a good communicator can you speak effectively so that the messages you are communicating are understood mm -hmm. so through toastmasters which is a club uh, let me not say a club toastmasters is an international organization that teaches leadership and public speaking through a network of clubs worldwide and in these clubs currently toastmasters is celebrating a hundred years Within the 100 years, we have 16,000 clubs in 145 countries. And individuals in these clubs are able, through the Pathways program, to pick a certain path, learn skills, and practically demonstrate. So it is the only organization that I know about that gives you that opportunity to be able to, in a conducive, warm environment, deliver your speech after doing your project in Pathways and get constructive feedback. Mm -hmm. It's very experiential. You, st you get an audience. Mm -hmm. It's very hard for people to naturally get an audience who can listen and are willing to give you feedback mm -hmm. on a speech. Mm -hmm. And every project that you do in Toastmasters culminates into a speech. Mm -hmm. So in addition to learning key competencies, and the competencies, the five core competencies that you learn well in Toastmasters, there's leadership, there's strategic leadership, there's management, there's confidence, which is one of the major things that helps you as a public speaker. So out of these competencies, you can actually transfer them from Toastmasters into your workspace, uh -huh. into what you do outside Toastmasters. If you are a priest, for instance, if you are a pastor, if you work in an office setup, you can actually bring your presentation skills, deliver your presentations very well. So, yes. And w w there's something you, you mentioned about feedback, and we shall come back to that. But I want you to tell me uh, your own perception of leadership, communication skills, and personal development. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. Whenever we grow up, we want to be the next Nelson Mandela. Mm -hmm. And to be able to translate that growing up is a bit difficult if we do not have guidance on how to actually practically make mm -hmm. this happen. What Toastmasters does through leadership, public speaking, and giving feedback is it gives you the platform. I'll give myself as an example. I joined a club, the Downtown Toastmasters Club, in 2020, just before COVID. In that same year, I became a sergeant at arms, which is one of the club officer positions. The next year, I became a president. What this did to me was increase my confidence to be able to even present myself 
today here with you on this stage. Yes. That is not easy. This is something I couldn't have done in 2020. Mm -hmm. That's a snapshot of what that means to mm -hmm. me. So there is much has to do with self-confidence, not just confidence. Yes. Self-confidence. Indeed. Now, talk to me about why communication skills mm -hmm. are important, especially in the job market, why it is important. In the job market, communication skills are very, very important. And in school right now, that's why people are taught and we commonly refer to it as 101 because it's very important for everybody. And why is this? For instance, when you're applying for that job, when you apply for a job and you go for the very first interview, mm -hmm. there's an objective you have to get that job. And there's a panel that wants to get the best out of you. You need communication skills to be able to put together all that you have done and persuade the panel that you can do the task that is before you. Mm -hmm. And it is through Toastmasters, for instance, that you're able to get skills because we have projects like um, preparing for an interview. How do you prepare for an interview? Those are things that either you pay a lot of money to learn outside Toastmasters. But in Toastmasters, there's a specific project that you will learn on how to present yourself for an interview. And without communication skills, you've seen very good candidates who appear before a panel and they don't get the job, not because they don't have the qualifications. And these days you'll find technical skills. If you're looking for an engineer, for instance, you'll find everybody meets the basic requirements, the minimum requirements. What sets you apart? is how are you able to, can you transfer that technical knowledge to other people? Because other than practically doing what you need to do, it's also important that you can pass this knowledge, pass this information, and without communication skills, you're not able to do that. Mm -hmm. Without mentioning being able to present to people. Yes. And I'll share my own personal growth. Mm -hmm. I am a communication expert right now with many years of experience, more than five years, I can say. However, when I joined Toastmasters, I had done my undergraduate degree in communication and I thought I knew everything about communication until I realized how certain words, pose fillers, what you call pose fillers, yes. uh, mm, well, <laughs> you know, I thought those were very beautiful things to say yeah. until I learned that they take away <laughs> from me. So I learned that I can spend my time, if I have three minutes to speak, I can actually deliver the objective of why I am speaking yes. without wasting a lot of time with the ahs and ums. And so communication is very important. You get a platform, you're able to present yourself, you're able to engage and I think this is actually important. what you what you've said about those words is true because in, in, when in the field of transcription, those, those are called false starts. Mm. And, Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Now I, I want you to tell. Let's talk a little bit about leadership. Tell me this: Is can leadership be taught, or because they say leaders are born, but can it be taught, instilled in someone? Yes. The Toastmasters International tagline is where leaders are made. And that's why we're having this leadership week in Toastmasters. Our district is District 114. We span over five countries, Kenya, Uganda, Ten. Tanzania, Ethiopia, Rwanda, and more. Leadership can be taught because this is a skill that is needed not only at the workplace, but even at home. Mm -hmm. As a parent, you need to show leadership to your children. It is a skill that I personally learned through these four years that I've been in Toastmasters. And it has made me be the confident leader that I am today. Mm -hmm. A practical example is each level of Toastmasters has a leadership structure. From the club level, area, division, district. I've been able to go through all this to be able to become where I am today. Mm -hmm. So leadership is, can be taught. It's mm -hmm. not something that you, you can be born with it. Yes, yes. wonderful. Mm -hmm. However, there is something else that can be added to your ready plate that you have mm -hmm. leadership. Yes. Uh, let's circle back to communication. Is commu having communication skills, does that qualify you to have excellent public speaking skills or these are two different things? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. You cannot be an excellent public speaker without communication skills. 
and even as a leader, if you're a project manager, if you're a leader, wherever you are, you get opportunities to speak. And therefore, we, we, you can't say you'll be an excellent public speaker if you do not have the skills. Because then the skills help you to know what to say. I have gone to uh, functions where somebody spoke for 30 minutes. And at some point, people switch off and just sleep okay. or doze or think about the lunch they left at home or whatever. What does that mean? You've spent a lot of time, but you have not communicated. So as an excellent uh, public speaker, as a communicator, you need to engage your audience. Don't just go deliver your message without thinking about the audience. Are they listening to you? Are you, are you do, measure, are mm -hmm. they with you? Yes. You can also get the non-verbal feedback. Yes. Sometimes people don't speak, but you can see the faces they are making yes. and you ask yourself, am I saying the right <laughs> things? So as a good public speaker, plan your delivery. Mm -hmm. we, in Toastmasters, we say you must also be able to plan, practice, look at the time that you have. Mm -hmm. And time management is one of the critical things that as Toastmasters we respect. Mm -hmm. If a meeting is meant to start at 7, it is not 701. It is 7. It's not before 7 you or in the meeting at 7 exactly you start because we believe time is very important mm -hmm. deliver your speech within that or the message within the time that is provided respect people's time be organized let your audience know where you're going mm -hmm. if you're concluding if engage them mm -hmm. that's very important yes. and maybe to add on uh, leadership indeed in toastmasters you actually uh, what kevin had said but i just want to add a little bit that in toastmasters you practice those leadership skills. And we also get trained to be a leader. For instance, I didn't know I could be a club president. I didn't know I could lead volunteers. And I can tell you, Mike, leading volunteers is one of the challenging tasks. It pushes you because you cannot punish people mm, for yeah. not doing things. So this is where your leadership skills come in. Can you motivate people? Can you persuade them? Can you show them the vision? And we learn this in Toastmasters. Mm -hmm. As a person, I have really grown. Mm -hmm. I have gone through all those leadership uh, stages that Kevin is talking about, from the club level to the area director to division director currently. And you get challenged every time because you, it feels like a work environment. And some of the things I've learned in Toastmasters, I can actually and I have transferred to my workplace. I speak better with people. I understand people. I try to understand. I don't assume if someone gives me what they call the blue ticks. Yes. Kevin often says the blue ticks, you know, for <laughs> them. <laughs> I, I, I understand what is behind the blue ticks. Mm -hmm. Why? Why is Mike not get communicating back? Mm -hmm. So I am more personable. I take time to understand people better. And this is something I have practically learned in Toastmasters. Mm -hmm. And we become better leaders. I can tell you somebody who met me, if you had people giving comments, they'll tell you people who knew me, Ten, five years ago yeah. would say I'm not the same person. Yeah. I wasn't this confident. I was not able to lead the number of people mm -hmm. that, that I lead right now. Because as a leader, you'd find our, our clubs uh, within Kenya, for instance, uh, span the coast. My club is Kisumu Toastmasters Club. Mm -hmm. But as a division director, I have members in the coast. There is central. There is all these other places. There's, you need the skills to be able to work together with these people to achieve a given purpose. Mm -hmm. Individuals have their own motivation. They have their own reasons. Mm -hmm. Somebody just wants to improve their public speaking. But that's not all in Toastmasters. We also get to network. So it's not all about personal um, communication and those public speaking skills. It's also something to do with interpersonal skills, how yes, you relate with people. Absolutely. And your interpersonal skills, you will build them when you're practically engaging people. Mm -hmm. You know, in some courses tell us we will help you to develop your skills, but you go into a seminar, sit there for five days, and when you leave, you feel like, I can do this. And when you go and practice, you realize that it's not it's exactly not. what you thought it was. <laughs> However, yes. in Toastmasters, you actually practice. We have two meetings in a month for every club. You meet at least twice in a month. Within the month, you can deliver a speech. You can take another role. And in the speech delivery, for every project that you do, you deliver a speech. And as you deliver a speech, you get feedback. But you also have other roles. People who look at your grammar, 
and, and correct you. And in every meeting, we have a word of the day. So you learn new words okay. and you broaden your word power. Okay. And we learn how to pronounce words the right way. Okay. So you get a lot of skills in the process. Mm -hmm. You grow, you challenge yourself at making some pronunciations. I want you to speak about the essence of um, personal development and how it enhances your confidence as a person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's important to always develop as a person and Toastmasters gives you that platform. We have talked about communication skills. Mm -hmm. Actually, research has shown that employers employ people up to as much as 1.5 percent more, 1.5 times more people who are able to confidently speak and articulate themselves and lead in a team. Mm -hmm. What happens in Toastmasters is you get that ability to communicate, to lead, and to develop these interpersonal connections and networks mm -hmm. that will branch you to your next career path. Mm -hmm. I, for example, did medicine as my, my mainstay, and now I'm branching into mental health, clinical psychology. Something that I learned through Toastmasters, through the networks that I've made, and to even just get that confidence to be able to branch from something that is my comfort zone to something that's not particularly what I studied in school. So these things are very practical in a day-to-day -day setup. This is something that comes over time, however, because when people join, people are at different stages in their mm -hmm. personal growth. Someone may already join being a confident speaker what they may need is to structure their words a bit better such that at the end of the two hours that they've spoken it makes sense to their audience mm -hmm. others just need that extra nudge to be able to be confident to just speak for five minutes mm -hmm. because they are given five minutes but are not able to do that all these things are very practical mm -hmm. in the day that we live today yes now emily talk about the aspect of feedback now yeah. you are that you are in a public platform, you're speaking to people, but in the course of your speech, you know, people can be, the reception is not what you expect, and sometimes the, 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 the feedback is verbal. How do you deal with that? In Toastmasters, we learn practically there's a particular project that helps you to deal with a difficult audience. And the Vice President of Education is the person who helps to plan that personal development in terms of speeches that you deliver the projects. So they literally plant people in the crowd to distract you. And this helps you, to the, the evaluator, the person who's going to give you feedback will see how you manage the difficult audiences. So it's really practical in Toastmasters. So you'll have somebody interrupt your speech. You don't know who it is, but somebody will interrupt. So there are different kinds of detractors. Some are the know-it-all. They want to tell you the subject that you're delivering. So in the process, we learn how to practically manage difficult audience because you will in, in real sense you will come across difficult audiences and sometimes they don't like what you're saying mm -hmm. so once you get this skill what you practically do is you look at your audience you read the mood you understand them and you adjust your communication mm -hmm. either you're speaking too fast and you learn the nonverbal language for instance, when people are doing this, they obviously are not agreeing with you. Yeah. So for the audience engagement, that's the point where you could pause and ask, uh, would you like to say something? Or if someone distracts you, for instance, and you are speaking, mm -hmm. you'd say, Mike, let me give you a minute to share with us. Mm -hmm. They might not be able to share what <laughs> they're sharing, but you have <laughs> and I've also managed seen, them. I've, I've also seen instances when, when the audience wants you to finish what you're saying, they start clapping. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. So you see, you already know the cues. So if you understand these cues, as a good communicator, you will know what to do. But always learn, be skilled enough to know, as you have just mentioned. If they clap, either they're very happy, or they want to know and if you still have something else to say you pause and read the mood yeah. if they still have time for you you can speak but it means if you speak to a point where the audience really want you to leave it means you didn't do justice to it and that is supposed to be taken as feedback 
in your next presentation, ask, what did I not write? Yes. You know, so that you improve. Yeah. So every time you keep on speaking, you get better. We are not saying and that there's a point where you'll feel you're perfect. We believe in continuous improvement. Mm -hmm. So always ask for feedback at whatever level you go to in your speech. Pathways, for instance, one path took me, my first path, effective coaching, took me two years. For some people, it takes one year. For some, it takes three years. It's self-paced. So you learn slowly, mm -hmm. but what you do is whatever you learn, you practice it outside of Toastmasters. Okay. So if I learn how to engage a difficult audience, I am confident enough to take on a speaking engagement, which is one of the benefits that we get by yes. the way. In Toastmasters, the skills that you get, you can actually use them to earn you some extra money. Mm -hmm. For instance, someone would call me to deliver a keynote address speech. or a speech in any area. Of course, after my, my working hours or on a Saturday, and I'll get compensated for mm -hmm. that. So I'm practically applying what I have learned in Toastmasters outside. Mm -hmm. If I take these presentation skills or public speaking skills and help my organization to plan an event, because we also learn innovative planning as a path, mm -hmm. I have literally transferred that skill. So all these skills you get, and back to what you're asking about the distractions, then you're able to manage your audience better, be a good communicator, and then you deliver the messages you intend to deliver. Mm -hmm. Now, have you ever dealt with stage fright? How did you handle it? <laughs> <laughs> stage fright is quite something. I think many of us can relate to it. My first speech in Toastmasters, I, I was supposed to speak for four to six minutes. By the third minute, I was already done. And I said, I, I don't think I can do this thing anymore. <laughs> this is it for me, Mike. Yes, I've, I've enjoyed myself. Thank you, guys. I'm done. However, to come back again, mm -hmm. attempt it, go through the program and do it within the required time, made me realize, OK, I can actually speak for four to six minutes mm -hmm. without stammering, without stuttering, and I can improve moving forward. Mm -hmm. That is not easy. Toastmasters gives you the platform to fail. It's a training ground. It's a place where we won't judge you. We will accept you and will help you move to the next step. Perhaps, Kevin, you could have done this to make your speech a bit longer. And once I applied those things, I was able to do it. Another thing is impromptu speaking that we have in Toastmasters. Mm -hmm. There's a session called Table Topics, which is a a time where people who didn't have time to participate or an opportunity to, to participate rather get a chance to speak in the meeting that prepares you to critically think on the spot and answer that question so these are things that help you already manage stage fright because stage fright usually happens when you're not prepared mm -hmm. and table topics catches you mm -hmm. it helps you speak for two to three minutes on a certain topic mm -hmm. such that you develop this confidence mm -hmm. come later in life in a job interview you ask a question you're ready to respond yes at that goal that was our time that was him and uh, thank you so much for coming to Good Morning Kenya, especially on Entertainment Thursday, to talk about these skills. We hope to host you in the future and talk more on this. Uh, that was uh, Emily Owiti, who is a communication expert, and also uh, Dr. Kevin Rubia, who is a mod me medical doctor, speaking to us about personal development, leadership, and... Uh, public speaking skills. I want us to cross over to Mombasa where but in a few where the um, CEO National Housing Corporation that is David Matthew will be speaking uh, it's about enhancing affordable housing. Remember affordable housing is one of the flagship projects for the uh, Kenya Kwanzaa government and um, it's one of the things that uh, they have used to create employment for youth across uh, the, country, uh, the country. The National Housing Co Corporation allocated close to 70 billion shillings. Uh, and also, there is also the NHS, uh, National Housing Corporation, uh, banking on technology uh, to drive uh, 
development. So there is that uh, uh, live link that we are going to get from Mombasa. But before then, we will take a very short break. Don't go too far. Good morning, Kenya continues shortly.